Right, time now is 7.47. I know that says eight, that's separate Tokyo time. 7.47 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Welcome to Huntertown, Indiana. Post worst storm of the season. Yeah, we had just had to wait out a uh, massive storm. Not really massive. Not really massive, but nothing happened. So yeah, bit of rain, bit of rain, but now we're on our way down to Decatur to uh, meet up with Chuck. Uh, and uh, then we'll be on our way down to Brasselton, Georgia for Grid Life South. 11 and a half hour drive, doing dad things. Was sitting in a lawn chair watching the storm. Doing dad things. Um, we'll, be, we'll be on our way down to Atlanta, Georgia-ish area. So, Brasselton, Georgia. It's called Road Atlanta. For Road, it's called Road Atlanta, the racetrack we're going to. You've, you've ever heard of it. You may have heard of it before. You know, Petit Le Mans, Formula Drift, yeah, so a lot of stuff. That's where Good Life South is happening. We are on our way down there. It's like an 11 and a half hour drive, right? Yeah, it's about to be hell on earth. It's going to suck, but we've done it before through straight through the night like uh, we did on... Uh, that was four years ago almost. Four years ago. Almost. It was three years ago. Good Life. Not Good Life. Or, I'm sorry. Uh, three. It was three years ago. H2O. For I. H2O. Uh, water... H2O I 2013. Yeah, that was not almost four years ago. That was almost was three, three years ago. Almost three years ago. So, we've done it before. We're used to staying up through the night to drive. So, so um, there's but three of us. Good so. news, though, is that if we drive through the night, we'll get there. It'll be Thursday. There'll be nothing going on at the track. We can just relax all day. Hang scope, out. Hang out. Scope out scope the spots. Out some sweet spots. So, that'll be nice. Uh, so, we'll catch up in a bit. My clear the middle lane. No. After him. You were not clear in the middle lane. After him, at least. After him, at least. Yeah. All right, because I'm going to get out of it. I'm going to get on the crown of the road. Get it's uh, 8.04 p.m. We're still in Fort Wayne. We're now out of Hunter Town in Fort Wayne. And it is uh, storming. Not, I mean, not as bad as it was 30 seconds ago. Or, yeah, I mean, a minute ago, but it's, uh, it's still raining. Yawning, not good. Not good. 12 hours. 12 hours to go. So, we gotta drive through Fort Wayne to get to Decatur, so. We don't know how the storm hit Fort Wayne. So. Yeah, so we're about to see some shiznigger. It might be good, it might be bad. We're coming up to the end of the actual storm up here. I don't yeah. know if you can catch it on the camera. Doubt it, but you might be able to. There. So where the sky gets a bit brighter. Yeah, maybe. You might be able to see it. Well, the sun's out over there, so that might be a good sign. So we'll see how uh, so it goes. Also, it reeks of this in here. <laughs> if you know what that is, grape. Um, about to Decatur now. Driving through normal Indiana things. Cornfields. Pontiac Grand Prix cornfield. Pontiac. <laughs> normal Indiana stuff. The, it is a strange color outside right now, isn't it? Yeah. Very beige. Very beige right now. Oh god. Not much up like this Mazda. Beige. So that's pretty easy to I am guarding a lot. No trouble. That's all. Bad sign. Bad sign. Let me off. Not good. We're going to check out Chuck's rape van right now. This is where the rape. This is where the raping happens, right? All the raping happens here. What rape or no? Yeah, rape either. Oh. Um, you know it has like shelves, and everything on the inside. Yeah. And like it's set up for rape. No, it's set up for going to uh... like racing events. So, do you want the bikes or not, Brad? No. Nah. No bike. No bike. Sure I can take this one right here. I mean, do you want just one, just in case? It's not gonna hurt, dude. Yeah. We got plenty of room. I need help. No, I'm kidding. Anyway, I use this to tow my trailer with my car on it before, like when the Cummins is being a bag of dicks. Yeah. And it does an excellent fucking job. It has a onboard air cadet or onboard uh, air compressor. Oh, sweet. And you can run a jackhammer off of it if you really wanted to. Like literally, if this one is Only if you wanted. 
but only if you want it. How, how awesome are the tires in that? They're pretty worn, but no, I mean, awesome enough. Piet, pressure. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, the nice part is we're going to drive out in there all night, but we'll have a nice relaxing day tomorrow with nothing to do, really. So I didn't have, have a chance to get anything done this weekend, right? Yeah. Or this week. Uh, my plan was to stop by DVD sales and get a new CD player or whatever, and then have us change it while we're driving. <laughs> like wire it, take apart the dash, everything while we're driving along. I don't want to solder while I'm driving. No, just crimp gas, bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But DMB's closed. All right, so got the Mazda all locked up and ready to go. Where it's currently just past nine, nine o'clock. It's like nine ten. Nine yeah, nine oh nine local time. Um, we're at Chuck's house right now, loading everything up. We're just getting ready to leave. Uh, not too bad of a drive down. We got a pretty decent plan. Not too. I mean, yeah. it's all highway. It's it all can't highway. be that bad. We'll be getting there at pretty decent time. We'll get in there at like 10 a.m. We're stopping for breakfast somewhere, apparently. So, we'll be getting there around noon-ish. Plenty of time, we gotta do some work to the Subaru when we show up. Shouldn't be too bad. We'll uh, check up with you guys here in a little bit. That guy's crazy to run a fucking hole. Yeah, he's got a death wish. We're just past uh, Wapa Canetta. Got on 75, right? Yeah. yeah. And the rain is bucketing down. We've been slowly, yeah, it's been 10, it's 10 28. We've been slowly moving through this rainstorm. Are we going 50? Maybe. 608 miles to go. Start, we're working on the <laughs> Hit it. Wait, how many oh, cigarettes do we have? Ah. Oh. Hopefully this store, it says it, though, I checked the radar, it's supposed to be short-lived, apparently. Hopefully. Dude, these semi-drivers got a fucking death wish. Well, yeah, they gotta get paid. There we go. Okay, it's in the mist coming off the fucking truck. It is 12.37 a.m. Thursday. We are about 20 minutes south of Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, at a truck stop. Somewhere in Kentucky at a truck stop. Got to do, a, as truck calls it, a fluid exchange. I don't know what he's talking about. But I need to use the restroom, so. Right. <clears throat> so it's 1.15 a.m. Uh, we are probably not even 10 minutes down the road. Oh yeah. From our last West stop. And we blew a trailer tire. But I think we might have a bigger issue at hand. What? In that we can't get it off. Not good news. About 20 minutes later. About 20 minutes. Not too long. Just gotta check tire pressures and Head out. All right, so tire on there. There's a nail in that tire. That's nice. But we really can't do anything about that at one in the morning. Right. And besides this put, is. Besides put air in it. Besides put air in it. So this, though, something happened. Clear. I mean, so. clearly, something got in it though. I mean, like, look, this thing fucking exploded. Like, if you look around there, like, the tread's fine, like, right there. But, like, dude, it fucking exploded. Well, in, in other news, there's bits of that tire laying down the highway two miles. Right, so. Should be the same bolt pattern. What is those? Put <laughs> some star stacks on the trailer. So we're gonna air it up and just see how it goes. Shit, that was an hour ago that, that shit went down, dude. Yeah, they called us out an hour ago. 452, we're just outside of Knoxville. Well, like 40 miles outside of Knoxville.
Oh shit! Look at the guardrail. It's 5.50 a.m. We stopped just outside of Knoxville. We're gonna just crash here for a little bit. And at this truck stop, just catch an hour or two of sleep. 7.47 in the a.m. Morning. I know. How cool is that shit? Nailed it! That go. That view, though. Right I don't know how much of that you saw. Northwest. Where are we at, Brad? To the right. We are at... We're almost in Chattanooga, right? Basically. No. No? We're not. We are not going to Chattanooga. We are not? Where are we going? We are going to Cumming, Georgia. Oh, you're right, you're right. Slight detour. Ten thirty a.m. Thursday. We are somewhere, Georgia, eating or something like that. In that car up here. What? In that car up here. Yeah. It's time to get us a proper socket for this, and go get us some goddamn fried chicken. For breakfast. For breakfast. Dag. Bre breakfast. 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 Beater. No, breakfast beater. Maybe we'll go get some breakfast beaters, buddy. So. We're gonna get some lug nuts for that. I'm gonna go in there and take a piss. Probably. So, hold this. Yeah. We are in, uh, what's it called? Ball what? Ballpark. No, it's not it. Ball ground. We're in Ball ground, Georgia. Little tiny little town. Some brick. A door. Think we're, you wanna hit up this Italian restaurant? Or do you want, do you want Italian? German or Cajun? This is it. This is this is the entire town. It's tiny, but it sounds bomb. Where, where are we getting Cajun? We can get whatever. I'm just. I'm, I'm, I think I might get some pizza. I'm thinking they're all attached. Just having that feeling. Uh, no, because there's an alley right here. I think Cajun sounds good. We are at Sunbelt Rentals in Cumming, Georgia. Uh, coming. Cumming, Georgia. So we're gonna, we're, we're almost there. We're probably, I think, he's, I think I saw we were like, we are 32 minutes, so half hour from the track. What? Yeah. So we'll get there, we'll update this later. All right, we're here in Brasselton. Is, is this technically Brasselton where we're at? I don't know, we're, we're at Brasselton at a grocery store because uh, how you do? We uh, can't enter the track until 6 p.m. It is now. 332 so we got French press. Let's see the French press. yes we have two hours and 30 minutes to kill meaning we need to get a french press and rum chata we have coffee, we have coffee? uh a diesel truck <sighs> yeah but what we're we gonna heat it up with well anyways here here dibs what <laughs> <laughs> oh hell yeah. Dude, why don't we just buy iced coffee and if we want hot coffee we just heat it. Instead of dick with cold press. It's gonna be hot enough in the morning anyway, so Ooh, yeah, just buy two of them. One we keep in the cooler, one we keep on the dash. Right. We're walking around the paddock looking at some shit. What's up? Why not? That's rad. 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to go grab my camera here in a little bit. Go get take some pictures. Get get the mini mini pot out. Go take right. some pictures. Our favorite old school BMW is here. I don't know if you guys can see this. Look at Voltex Aero. The full Voltex Aero. It's got a swan neck. Z40s. Big ass rear diffuser. We're enjoying some. Yeah. This is Pro Function right here in. Uh, Ramblers. Power stops here. Right, let's see if they get their fucking car out on the track. Board. They usually do. Oh, fucking water. I know. The rat Z we saw earlier out out front. Voltex. TEs. Good combo. First burrs. Maxis tires. They just hit a cone. They hit a cone. Vaughn Gittin Jr.'s Formula D hauler. Um, he's gonna be out on track with all the big drift guys. Are they drifting any drifting sessions tomorrow? Um, I'll have to look at the schedule, but I think later in the afternoon, yes. You wanna walk the bridge real quick? Yeah. But here's the timing tower. There's turn 10. I don't remember exactly what turn. 14. Well, you, I don't know if you guys can see it, but start finish, start finish is literally right there. You get some good shots with your bush now right here. Yeah. And then you got paddock over there, turn one over there, bleachers, middle of nowhere, Georgia. Oh, All right, you want to walk back? Well, I want to go figure out the shower facility. Well, rather, shower's on our side. There's two sets of showers on so our side. white ones up there. Top of the hill, yeah. There's ones over here, which I bet nobody's going to go to. All right.